Hi friends, welcome to 30 Inks 30 Days Wrap Up. I'm overdue, I know. Like look, life has been super busy and so we're at the point now where perfect is the enemy of done. I didn't plan, I have a few minutes and so we're gonna just look over stuff. Here is the, the pages. So, um, I don't remember where they start. Back here somewhere. You know, wait, we could check. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, right. Of course you know the first ink, Maria. The Kiwi Ink San Francisco Pin Show Ink. So this is the book I'm I'm copying out of The Haunted Attic by Margaret Sutton, a Judy Bolton mystery. I started out, I usually do a page front and back, and then I was like getting behind and I'm like, what if? And I'll tell you what made me change my mind about that. Look at this go, granite green. This was so painful, so painful that I'm like, to heck with this, I'm changing inks. And from that point on, I did a page on the front, or one ink on the front and one ink on the back. Now, the original reason I didn't do that is the first book I was copying, the pages were like sort of see-through, so I didn't want two different inks on the page because you wouldn't really see what it looked like. And then when I re remembered that, I'm like, oh, Right, look at us being twice as efficient. So we're just uh, paging through here and not really talking much about things. Um, I took notes. Mostly by that I mean I put smiley faces and frowny faces. I think I'm writing with this right now and loving it in my, in my journal. Did I do this for two pages? Because I, oh yeah, because, um, because I loved it. No. That was a frowny face for sure. Maybe, no, I'm writing with this one right now. I'm loving it. I'm pretty sure. We'll see if I'm right. I'll let you know. Except I'll probably forget by the time I get to that point. There we go. Oh, this was a, that was a bonus. You guys saw a thing that I didn't film for you. But I guess I should slash will. So wait, wait, stop it. Okay, sorry. I ran AFK. AFK? AFC? Here are the pins that are still inked that I, well, that I am like, I'll write these dry. There are some others that I haven't yet. And I'm like, not going to. Here we are. So this is also my currently inked for this month, plus like some other ones. All right, I don't know which of these these are. I don't know what's in any of them, okay? This is what happens. Perfect is the enemy of done. Here's that calendar page. Now, I'm gonna let you know that three of my favorites were in the first four days. So let's go forward. I don't want to like accidentally spoil anything. So I'm being careful here. So look at this one. Got a heart. So the Kiwi Ink San Francisco Pin Show Ink. I really liked this one. This was in my glow purple. I actually finished writing with it and it's washed. What? Yeah, whatever, Maria. Just say wash is fine. Another one I really loved the Colorverse ink for Golden Gate Bridge. It looks nothing like Golden Gate Bridge, but it was so nice to write with. It was juicy. It flowed well. Just I didn't even put a smiley, but I loved this one. Again, this was in my Caveco Perkeo. Wrote it dry already. Meh. Look, you can see it's a bit light. Then we have up here, Deck the Halls in my Transparent Purple. I think I wrote that one dry too, just recently. Um, and I'm just calling out standouts that were pluses or minuses. So this one, Stroke of Midnight, this was a plus. I liked this one. It's pretty. I'll probably keep it. 
Wearing Gold Juliet. You can't even see because the this ink went through so much. That was a minus for me. It's a beautiful ink, but it hardly shows up. Um, it's in this one, I believe. Yeah. So I'll finish it because the lovely Amanda B gave this to me. And I'm glad to have it and to use it. But um, I need to use it only on white paper. So maybe I'll write some letters on some white paper or something. Because on this cream, it hardly shows up. Then we have Wearing Gold Romeo. Love this so much. I mean, obviously I love Romeo more than Juliet because that's how I am. Um, a surprise to me, Van Diemen's Laughing Kookaburra Crest. Um, that was this, which is the online campus, by the way. I didn't know what it was when I did the video, but this is the campus. We got it for free. Well, free. I paid for it uh, in a subscription box. And... It wrote well, and the ink, I liked it. It's a, it's a gray. It's not black, but it's a gray, and it has good shading. So, of course, I like it. Um, other ones that we were, I did not like candlelight. Nope. Um, party time. The Diamond Fave 80 Iris. I liked this ink. Enough that I'm going to keep it in here and use it up. It wasn't a favorite or anything, but, you know. Okay, the uh, Honey Bee Eater Wing in this pen. This is nice too. Also, I, I'm just gonna use it up. Hi, stop it, stop it. Go over there. Uh, Garland in the Vac 700. I mean, this is mostly because it like, it reminds me of Emerald Shabor, which is one of my favorites, so. But again, no special commentary on except for that one then over here spoil again i said spoilers the cat's eye nebula in the twisby mini aqua this was basically illegible i think i had a hard time writing with it too not a favorite um this pairing was nice so i kept that inked that's this one balaton kek um i wrote okay for the <laughs> the Zare Gokuro in my Safari Petrol. So I did keep that inked. I don't have that. It's in a little pin pouch. Um, Earl Grey Tea. This is not my color. This pen is not great for long writing sessions. So I'm probably going to uh, put it back in a sample vial and not write dry. Uh, the Jinhao X750 with the Ferris wheel press an Atlas Iron Ore. I basically wrote that one dry. This was nice, but you know, whatever. The Dominant Industry Winter Pine in my Edelweiss was like sad face. And you can see that it couldn't even write the whole sad face because it wasn't writing, which was very sad face making because I love the pen. Um, Diatramentis Sherlock Holmes in this pen was gorgeous gorgeous it felt like just a class writing experience if i remember correctly look we're almost at the end i'm like flying yes so i'm writing with this right now no where'd you go didn't i just grab you hey look i found this pin oh that's romeo y'all where did i put that pin y'all like for real for real No, that's not what I'm writing with. What the hell pen am I writing with? Maybe it was this. Look, let's stop. Uh, Inca Bar Giant Blue in this Woodshed Pins Plus. I loved it. The ink color, I want to buy this. I have no business buying it. I don't need it. I want it. Um, and I love this pen. Um, so then we had the Andorillium Vampire Squid Red. That's fine. Not remarkable one way or another. Mandarin Duckwing in the, uh, Caveco Sport Frosted Coconut. 
that pin, it'll be like fine by the bottom of the page or even before the bottom page. It's super dry. And I feel like it's a Caveco sport problem. I've had it with all of them. And it doesn't matter how fat the nib, it just feels like that feed can't keep up or something. And I even tried like making it bigger, whatever. Then we have a Blue Jay Crown in my Charleston. This was a little too light for me. Beautiful, but too light. This Krishna Shaler, Shaler's, yep. Yep, we're there. Shaler's blue was so bright. It reminds me a little bit of like, I don't know, Ice Rink from Birmingham or, you know, the one infamous blue ink. I like I like how like bold it is. And then we have um, Octopus Fluids Brilliant Holt. Tried. In the Pelican. Again, totes okay. Did you say totes? Oh my God, smack me. Just end me right now. Okay, wait, I'm looking up this pen because it's here, but I didn't think I see a note. Oh, this is Suki Gokuro. I think I just didn't want to get rid of it, but the pro, or maybe, maybe it was almost empty. Oh, well. Maybe this was in my please clean me out pile. The problem with this pen is it doesn't cap super securely. So uh, things dry out. That was the super speedy overview of the month. So favorites. We come back here. And we look at this. If we just look at inks and not as combinations with writing experience, right? The SF Pin Show, the Golden Gate Bridge, the Deck the Halls. Although, honestly, Golden Gate Bridge, I liked the writing experience and that's what makes it like, mm, good. Um, Romeo, I like that. Stroke of Midnight is good, but I don't like gold as much. Stargazer, beautiful, but like super, super sheeny, right? A little over the top sheen right there. Um... For funsies, party time. Sherlock Holmes, giant blue. If I look at this page and I have to pick my favorite color, it's giant blue. One million percent. And I know you can't have more than 100%, but I would get so many of them that you'd think it was 100%. Also, no, I'm pretty sure I was using a different pen and I don't know where it went. Did I even ink up the pen I'm thinking of? Hold on. I should pause you so that you don't know that I'm doing this and you'll be like, oh, look how put together Maria is. But this is my brain. This is my brain on ink. Any questions? Okay, whatever pen I thought I was writing with, it's not even inked. So it must have been this one and here we are. Um, standouts that I absolutely would not buy at all under any circumstances. Cat's Eye Nebula. Well, if I was trying to like just draw, like put splashes of ink. Okay, that's out. We're not including that as a reason I'd buy it. Cat's Eye Nebula, Winter Pine, Juliet, Granite Green. Now, again, I don't know if it was the pen. I'm inclined to think no, though. This ink was pain. It could be the pen. It could be the pen. Central Park Greens, not my thing. Candlelight, not my thing. Earl Grey Tea. So if you like this color, it was a pretty good ink, but not my thing. So, mer, 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 mer. Not for me. I do like that among my favorites are three that I have whole bottles of. That's a positive thing. Um, and Romeo... And giant blue. That's my top five. Have we decided that? Yeah. What if I leave out the two that most people maybe can't get and I picked five not including those? Okay. That's a good thought, Maria. Okay. Deck the halls. Romeo.
Giant Blue, mm -hmm. Sherlock Holmes, hmm. Let's see, we got two shimmers. They're very blue. Let's pick one that's not blue. Hey, you pick one that's not blue. Pick one that's your favorite color, and that's the last one. <laughs> so Deck the Halls, Romeo, Sherlock Holmes, Giant Blue, and... I want to do another shimmer to recommend to you. Hmm. Party time? That's another shimmer, Maria. Whatever. Here we are. We'll do Honey Bee Eater Wing. Let's hope I didn't hate that one. Thought I... I thought I was spoiling everything, but we're fine. Stop it, Maria. Yeah. So, I'm tempted to, like, stop and erase all of this and film a new video, but y'all know I'm lazy. So... Let's talk about pens I didn't love, right? My Twisby Go's, they were kind of a letdown, especially I think it was the clear. Because the clear was one of the ones that had the... Was that the one with, yeah, the granite green? So either the pen or the ink or the combination, I didn't like that one. My vintage flex pen is always like I think I'm gonna get rid of it because I feel like it's not the perfect pen for me but it is so fun to write with um any other standouts y'all it's all the same old pens no new ones except for you know the secret one I have downstairs and the other new pen that wasn't part of this but you saw the video for it um, yeah, kind of feels weird that I ha I don't have many new pins, but you know what? Like I'm feeling blessed with the pins that I have. <sighs> this is a pretty good color, but this one. Okay, so that was 30 inks, 30 days, September, 2023. The plan is currently to do this for November. Um, so we'll see how well that plan works out for me. <laughs> I hope this wasn't too much of a mess for you. I hope also that when you're watching this, you're having a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves. Bye.